I'm going to be programming a uh, new key for a 2011 Toyota Sienna. Um, I thought I'd go through a couple people's asked to see more on this Autel uh, MS906 TS. So uh, I thought I'd show you the process. Yeah, we'll just do auto auto detect. ordered a new key off of Amazon. The first one I got did not have the G stamped into the key so I was kind of skeptical whether that one would work or not and it did not work. Um, I just got the new key that I just that I ordered from a different vendor. It does have a G on it. Let's see if I can, I don't know if you if you do these Toyotas if this is a G chipped G chipped key. If you got a G on your key, you need a G on the replacement key. Okay. First, we'll just see if it's under hop function. Okay. It does have an option here for keys. Sometimes under hop function, it doesn't. It won't show a function that it's actually capable of. So you've just got to go into that partic particular module, go to special functions, and see if it's there. This does have key registration so let's see what it says. Enter a new key. Please hold it. Okay. Remove the key from the key cylinder, insert the key back into the key cylinder, turn the ignition on. Okay. Remove the key from the key cylinder, insert the key, I'm assuming the original key. Okay, remove the master's key from the key cylinder. Three seconds. Insert the key you want to. Do not turn the ignition on. Yeah, the first time I did this, they got to this screen and it said registration failed. Um, so I'm, the company that I bought that key from is sending me another one, but in the meantime, I went ahead and ordered another one from another vendor that did have the G on it. So we're going to see if this is going to work. Okay, it says it should start it. There it goes. And it does. And there you have it. That's programming a Toyota key, G-chipped key, which this happens to be a 2011 Toyota Sienna minivan. Um, worked flawlessly. I also programmed the remote. When I bought the first key, I also got a new remote. <clears throat> the remote looks, looks like that. This is the original, but the new one looks identical to it. 
Um, I got the key and the remote together. It cost like $11 off Amazon. The remote programmed, no problem. The key did not. I noticed it didn't have the G on it, so I was skeptical, but I just figured, you know, it's an aftermarket China key. They didn't put the G on it. But uh, whenever it failed, uh, I contacted the but people I bought it from, they said it was a G key. They said they'd send me another one, which it should be in the mail. Uh, I'm curious to see when I get it, if it has a G or not. Uh, I'm going to try to program it, but if it doesn't have a G, it's probably not going to work. Um, but, but the remote they sent it programmed no problem. So now I've got two remotes, two keys to this van that I'm probably going to end up selling anyway, but at least it'll have two keys, two remotes. I just didn't want to I don't like ever having just one key to anything because you lose that key now you're out quite a bit of money uh, you know having a locksmith come out recut a key and they don't have a master to go off of so it, it gets costly at that point anyway I'm gonna go see if my Varus has this and I'll at the end of this uh, video I'll, I'll tell you if the Varus had this capability or not